Alright, I want to talk about a subject that's been going around a lot. And this is just about the comic book industry in general. Now, um, I looked at a video of Darwin Cook. He wrote the uh, New Frontier, which was also made into an animated feature. And in his interview, he was asked by one of the interviewers, they said, you know, what don't you like about what's Marvel... What did, They asked him... What are some of the things that you hate about Marvel and DC? Uh, and he said, I want them to stop catering to 45, 45-year-old perverted man's needs. I want to see I want to see them stop having Batman freed Robin rats. I want to see... Um, he said something. What else did he see? Oh, I, he, he said he wants to see characters that have been straight for years stop turning gay overnight um I'm assuming he's talking about Batwoman maybe uh Kate Kane Batwoman um and Renee the question I'm guessing he's talking about those characters could be wrong but obviously he was talking about All Star Batman which is the picture and I'm using for this video uh, All Star Batman is a book written by Frank Miller, and everybody knows Frank Miller writes stuff dark. He he has a certain way of doing things. Um, now, this book isn't in continuity, so if you don't like it, you don't have to read it. So I don't really see why he was aiming his kind of gun at this book because, like I said, it's a niche book. You don't have to read All Star Batman. It's not in continuity. The way Frank Miller writes Batman is much different in the way Grant Morrison is writing Batman. Or, or Neil Adams writes Batman. It's I mean, there's different types of books out there you can read. So, um, you know, I, I'm not going to knock him for that. I mean, he, you know, every man's entitled to his own opinion. And like I say, it's a niche book, so you don't have to read it anyway. It, it It's not in continuity. It's a completely different take on the character. Um... But the book he wrote, New Frontier, I mean, at the beginning, and it, even in the animated feature, the guy blows his brains out. I mean, kind of contradicting yourself there. But anyway, um, and somebody else brought this up, Bronco and Eric, about old writers and how they're pretty much bashing the industry. My thing is, yes, the the comics have gotten a lot more mature. They've gotten more violent, bloodier, gorier. Uh, more sexually explicit things of that nature. That's true, and a lot of comics are are not to being aimed at kids. There's there's only a handful, or, or not even a handful. There's like really, I can't even think of a comic that's aimed towards kids right now. Uh, Pet Avengers maybe is that aimed at kids. Um, Tiny Titans. Those are the only two I can. Batman: Brave and the Bold comic book that's aimed at kids and. Um, Captain Marvel, tri no, not Trials of Shazam, it's called something else. It's a Captain Marvel book, and it's aimed at kids. Those are like the, that's like four books I can think of. Those are like the only ones that are aimed at kids nowadays. Most superhero, and when I'm talking about the industry, I mean superhero comic books. So, let's get that straight right now. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about Image, Dark Horse, uh, Vertigo, you know, Wildstorm, any of that stuff. I'm talking about mainstream Marvel and DC. And the way they're doing things now is they're aiming... They're writing the characters... They're writing the superheroes with a much more mature tone. Um, characters are... Um, they're talking like actual people talk. Um, and most most of the old school writers don't like the way things are being done. Um, it's kind of funny because... Um, guys like Alan Moore, he wrote a book that was basically taking the superhero and giving it a more realistic tone. But then he comes back later and he says, I wish I had never done that. You know, he hates, you know, he says something about the killing joke, too. He he said the killing joke was, I forgot exactly what he said about it, but he doesn't like it. Um, 
I mean, Stan Lee's whole philosophy is we should write. His whole thing was, we here at Marvel, we write our characters uh, with a much more human tone. He's always said that in, in his um, interviews and stuff like that. You look at the older videos of Stan Lee, he's always like, we here at Marvel, we do things different than the other company. Um, cause back then Marvel was trying to be much more, uh, I, I don't want to say realistic, but realist. I, I'm just going to say they were realistic. They were being much more, uh, human. And this is kind of crossed over into other, uh, things. Uh, DC is doing this a lot with their characters now. Um, they brought silver age characters back. But they're putting a much more human tone to them. A uh, uh, good example is this Hal Jordan, uh, Flash, uh, Barry Allen. <coughs> Those two characters are being written much different than they were back then. Um, hell, even Superman and Batman are being much written much more different than they were back in the day. But while I do agree with this... Uh, Brown Code Eric says something in his video that comic books, eighty percent of comic books are being much are being written much more intelligently. I can't talk for anything. They are being written much more intelligent than most movies are, and that's true because most movies today are uh, crap. Ninety percent of the movies are crap that come out. Let's face it; it's true, but. I mean, I think we can all agree that the modern age of the superhero is what we like. Uh, I'm not saying comics need to have all the blood and guts. I, I, I honestly think they can get rid of that. They can still tell a good story without being so bloody and stuff like that. They don't need to do all that. But I don't want comics to go back to that um, Silver Age way of doing things. I, I, I like my characters being... Um, written with a much more human tone like they you know like you're talking to a regular guy I don't like that uh, campy old school way of doing things I not, I'm not a fan of that stuff but uh, you know it's just something to think about uh, h how do you guys feel about this stuff do you how do you guys feel about the industry nowadays I'm basically like I said I'm talking about Marvel and DC how do you guys feel about the way they're doing things now do you do you like the way uh, characters are being written nowadays? Do you hate the way characters are being written? Do you think... Um, just, just, I like a video response. What do you like and what do you hate about the comic book industry um, nowadays? Because me personally, um, I agree with some of the things Darwin Cook and some of the things Alan Moore and some of you know, those guys will say about the industry. Some of it's true. Like I said, I... The events, I'm sick of the events. Um, they can go, as far as I'm concerned. I want more single character books. I want more books that are not editorial driven. I want books that have good creative control, freedom of creative control, and a person who just loves the character and wants to tell a good story. Um, I like stuff like that. Uh, the, the, the shared continuity thing is really getting old. Uh, I'm getting sick of it to tell you the truth. But the way I mean it I mean aiming comics at kids is a good idea. I mean they could easily make a line just for kids. You know, Marvel they can call it I don't know, Marvel Kids or DC Kids or something like that. I think they even do have something like that, like DC Kids line or something like that, but I don't think those books sell, like I said. I, I could be wrong. Somebody can correct me on that. But I'm pretty sure those books are not in the top 10. Um, yes, comics do sell less than they do back then. But that's not because of... Uh, that's been happening way before this stuff. That's been happening way before 9-11 uh, hit. I'll say that. I mean, comics started selling lower and lower in the 90s. And they almost went out of business in the 90s, as a matter of fact. Well, Marvel did. Went bankrupt. Um, so it's been happening way before, you know, the thousands era of comics. But, 
Um, I really don't know what the heck I'm saying. I don't know what else to say. I just, I agree with some of the things they said. Uh, but then again, I don't. You know, I, I, I like the way the characters are being written nowadays. They're being written much more intelligently. And I like stuff like that. But yeah, they can they can drop the events. They can get rid of the blood and the gore and all that. I don't think that should be in mainstream Marvel and DC. But that's just my thoughts. Please, I'd like some video responses. I would like some uh, comments, a good discussion about this. And that's all.